everyone and welcome to this new video. My name is Lotta, I'm the Holding Puffin and I actually remembered that I own a camera and have a YouTube channel and that I can in fact film and document the making of, of my cosplays. So welcome to a new cosplay vlog. It's been like a year since the last one which we are going to elegantly ignore. So Ray is a character from the Fable SMP and the Fable SMP is a... Uh, it is a series that spans over three seasons, the third one still ongoing as this video goes up, and it is created by a bunch of different uh, live streamers on Twitch who are using Minecraft as the basis for their collaborative storytelling. To summarize Fable on to the very like bare bones of it, it's a series about a bunch of different characters who exist in a world that keeps resetting because the world essentially is unstable and they try to fix it and they also have to deal with different amounts of deities and also amnesia. Nobody remembers really where they came from and so they also have to regain memory and like see how they can protect their memory and how they can protect each other from different deities and corruption. Um, I got into this fandom via my partner who had already been in the fandom for like a good year and they pretty much... They, the way they got me interested in it was by saying you're gonna love it, it's very gay, there's copious amounts of angst and you're gonna feel called out by that one character. Ray is the resident scientist of Fable SMP. He is kind of multi-categorical he does some laboratory science and some like dabbling in medicine and some experimental surgery on himself. That is a thing. And also a lot of his science is actually based in anthropology, which as an anthropologist, I got very hyped. Like I, I started watching this and I knew he was a scientist and then I keep watching, keep watching more and more and see him like do the science. And I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting there realizing he's an anthropologist. I don't know if Hey Hey like in, intended for Ray to be an anthropologist, but a lot of his science is based in anthropology. Like, I could reference, like, actual anthropological theories and based, like, documents that I have learned over the years of, of studying it that align with his research, which is really, really freaking cool. Uh, that I'm a nerd. And it was really fun making this cosplay. I got to use so many, so many different techniques like, I sewed, I embroidered, I did leatherworking, I did bookbinding, which is really exciting because I've been bookbinding since I was like, I think, 12. And this is the first time ever I bookbound in genuine leather, which is so exciting. And it was just mildly nerve wracking. I already blabbed on for so long. I'll just let you watch the video and I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
Another thing that I knew I wanted to include in this character design was orchids, specifically blue orchids, because uh, without wanting to spoil anything, they are just a thing within Fable for this character and like some characters related to him. Blue orchids are a thing. And in Minecraft, this is my subjective opinion, but they are one of the prettier flowers. However, blue orchids do not exist. Typically when you think of orchids, you think of a type that is called butterfly orchid or phalaenopsis. Phalaenopsis is fairly easy to clone, which is why that is the type of orchid you can buy literally everywhere, even at the supermarket. The natural coloring of phalaenopsis orchids is white, a sort of it, it looks like the inside of a banana peel, that shade of yellow and also kind of boogerish yellow. It's a very weird shade of yellow. That's the second one. And a sort of magenta-y purplish pink. Those are the like main natural colors that this orchid will bloom in. And obviously there's like subcategories, but those are the natural colors. Now, if you go to the supermarket or florist, you're gonna be able to buy them in like highlighter neon uh, pink and yellow and in deep purple and like vibrant red and also still in white but like a very pleasant white and also blue. All of these um, are fake. Not in the sense that they were like bred to have these colors but in the sense that they have ink or dye injected into the flower bud which means that when they bloom, they have these very vibrant artificial colors. Which also means that if you actually manage to keep those phalaenopsis alive long enough to bloom again, they're gonna bloom white or occasionally like a pale yellow. Now, I am cosplaying a character from a Minecraft roleplay. Why does this matter? This matters because uh, I'm a perfectionist and I like little silly details in my costuming that, except for me, nobody's gonna notice. So for a while I was considering, instead of making just a blue-colored Phalaenopsis uh, orchid, um, I was going to instead get an actual like blue orchid, like one of the few types of blue orchids that do exist in nature. Now the blue that we think of as blue rarely exists in nature to begin with. That is not a color a lot of things have. Uh, and so when we think of flowers that are blue, 
technically a lot of the times those are what we would consider purple. And so there are blue orchids, but they're not blue blue. They are purplish and the like natural types of blue orchids are very pale lavendery in color, which still fits in with Ray's aesthetic because he has this whole purple thing going on. But um, I figured it might actually, because first of all, those are very finicky, very small flowers. So making those artificially would be very difficult. And also I just, it ended up being too complicated because it is, the blue orchids are very recognizable for this character and having to explain that uh, the reasoning it's not a, a blue orchid, but like a vaguely white purplish flowers because I wanted to be botanically accurate. I can't be bothered. So I made blue phalaenopsis, <laughs> which do not exist. This is the height that I ordered for the braces. Uh, this is a, a saddler or belt type leather, which means it's thicker. This is a cow's height or part of a cow's height. It's 30 by 30 centimeters and it came pre-dyed, which is good because we don't have a whole lot of black dye left. It's a very even dye job and the leather is largely intact. It has some small imperfections though, which is part of what I like about leather. I like that it is imperfect. So it has a small nick over there and it has some scarring. This is a fairly long scar and then there's a smaller one here. And I, th I think this is so interesting. I like that leather is imperfect. And so I'm definitely gonna try to preserve the scarring on one of the braces. I really want this to be on there. So this is a goat's hide and this is a complete size but it's been spliced, so it's been cut along here, which means it's very thin. This is like less than a millimeter. I think it's 0 0.3, 0 0.3 millimeters 